ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to have any fighter on this UFC roster, especially. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true fight to When you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. How good is that right here? Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Costa. How about that shin? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Cool. Huge body shots. Back and forth we go! Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice hook. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, straight right. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And they separate. That one is going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. He's got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's going to the ground fight. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop in this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Marvin Vittori. And still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. It's a light heavyweight title fight between Clover Teixeira and Anderson Silva. Ready. 
Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Teixeira gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Under three minutes remain in round one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Strong hook lands. Oh, straight right. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Look at the force behind that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. Oh, beautiful land there by Anderson Silva. Age is just a number, remarkably. The former UFC middleweight champion still getting it done here against the best 185 pounders in the world. Big punch land. Ooh. And both guys really throwing with authority. Changes his stance. 45 seconds. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut. Trying to stay in this fight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the mark. All right, round two. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, effective use of the jab by Teixeira. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Beautiful right hook counter. Silva's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, beautiful level change. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound companies. Silva gets back up, back into his comfort zone. So 37 total strikes have now landed for Glover to share. Accuracy rate in terms of strikes thrown and landed has dipped below 40%, 37% on the connection rate against Anderson Silva. Oh, thunderous leg kick on him, lifted it a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that's changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Guillotine attempt.
attempt. Now looks as though he's got the neck. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Now he's a tight on triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the official position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, and he's out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. We got him with his hip into that kick. Two oh. rounds in the books. Oh. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Looking to time that counter kick. Silva gets hit with a kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Teixeira. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So some fight stats for you here. 57 total strikes have landed for Glover to share. And landed with 32% accuracy thus far against Anderson Silva. How about that shin? Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful leg kick throw. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Just over two minutes to go. Right. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, oh, fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Five seconds remain in the round. Just misses with the right hook. Twenty seconds left. Silva gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt right back. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish him because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, time to go to the... Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got hurt here. Oh, he's tough. He's hurt bad. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. And really starting to...
to make these shots count. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Nice triangle, nice triangle. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just, oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The celebration continues after the big knockout win to get the job done tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion, and after that result, he goes out the way he came in, and still, ladies and gentlemen, and nice to see this moment now as he celebrates with his corner. That was as dominating a title defense as we've seen thus far this year as he knocks out the number one contender, and really in so doing, sends a message to the other contender types at 205 pounds that it's gonna take your best night and best performance, and even then, I'm still probably walking out with my belt. It is a heavyweight championship fight between Francis Ngannou and Jarzinho, Biggie Boy Rosenstruck. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Unable to connect there. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Good punch, Lance. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Pretty strong jab there by Rosen. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big hook. Gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kenny Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that old man right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. 
out of range with that right hand. Effective punch there by Francis Ngannou. Oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, big left. Just out of range with that right hand. Sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Nice move punch. Oh, nice right hand. And they separate. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. A big elbow there. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going. Final second to round one. So a strong five minutes down. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Rosen strikes lower. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, huge left hand for Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right? right? You hear a big exhale. Every time France goes up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. What a punch. Oh, beautiful. Oh! He's got to go chase that finish down now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, big shot, man. Throwing that jab, no good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Rosen strike gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at how and as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! There it is! It's over! Whoa! Whoa! That was nasty! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator Engano.
right, so the Predator, Francis Ngannou, gets the job done yet again, and no surprise with authority here tonight. Absolutely remarkable what this Cameroonian Frenchman has accomplished thus far, and the best could still be yet to come.